Yeah? Okay, it's like, cool. Get over there. She's staring at you. Oh my gosh, you're right. She is. Yeah, see? I told you. Well, yeah, I would have believed you. It's just weird that someone's staring at me. Hey, she kind of looks like you, actually. What? Yeah, look at her. Well, Jane, it's kind of hard to see under her hat. Oh. Wait, is that a tennis racket with her? Oh, yeah, I think it is. Wow, well, maybe I will see her out at practice. What are you going to do if you see her? Well, for starters, I'm going to find out why she was staring at me and who she is. Good idea. Katie Green. Oh, yes, Miss Cruz? Why are you showing your essay? Oh, um, what? The essay on injuries from tennis? Oh, that's not what my essay was about, and I have you tomorrow. Oh, no, I marked as a zero. Oh, no, well, um, you must be getting me confused with another girl. Oh, that's right, Cosette Lane. <gasps> she didn't turn her in. Sorry about that. It's the beginning of the school year, you know. Oh, no problem, but if you don't mind me asking, who's Cosette Lane, and why would you get us too confused? Oh, you don't know Cosette Lane? Oh, no, I can't say that I do. <gasps> she is the sweetest girl you ever met. Oh, that's cool. It sounds like I need to meet her. Yes, you girl, you girls look exactly alike. You look, you guys look like practically twins. E excuse me. <laughs> yeah, you look so similar to be sisters. Oh my. Well, I suppose I have to check that out. Oh, look at the time. My apologies, Miss Green. Let me get you a late pass. Oh, thank you, Miss Cruz. You're welcome. Hey guys, Katie here. Today is a very special podcast because it's my 99th episode. Hey, what if the day we run the lacrosse game is my 100th? Maybe, maybe. Anyways, getting to the episode point, the Dolphins here at Freshwater High are ready to take down the Sharks, our rivals, on Friday. <sighs> I have never been more excited and exhausted in my whole entire life from the double practices. Okay, enough about the best sport ever. Let's get on to the to new topic of my personal life. So there was this girl at lunch, right? And like me and my friend were just eating. And then my friend Jane notices some girl looking at us, just like complete staring. But I couldn't see her because she was wearing this huge hat. Like it's huge. Like why do you need a hat that big? It wasn't even sunny. But oh well. And I was like, what the heck? And then, but wait, she had a tennis racket, racket with her. Yeah, for sure. She had one. And I, and I don't know, like, it's creepy stuff, but we'll figure it out. And, oh, and my English teacher ran into me today saying someone could practically be my twin. I was like, what are you talking about? Like, it was nuts. And then she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, whoa. Anyways, total freaky stuff going on in my life. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later after the, hopefully, the victory of the lacrosse game. And um, comment below who you think the mystery girl might be. Sorry for the short episode. Gotta go practice some more. Uh... Bye!
Oh, uh, this just won't work. Hi, Katie. Sorry, but did you just oh, say my um, name? Yes, can I talk with you in private? Sorry, but I had the game today. Oh, oh well, right. I'll well, this make is time. Important. What about lunch? Yes, that will work fine. Sorry, Cosette, Cosette Lane. Wait, did you just say Cosette Lane? Uh, yes, that's my name. You're Miss Cruz. Well, she said that we could practically be twins. She got me confused with you. Well, that's actually what I need to talk with you about. Wait, are you being serious? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a bell. I have to go. Wait. I'll see you soon. Hey. Hey. So, what Miss Cruz said is true. We are twins. That, that can't be true. My dad told me I was the only child without my mom and... Look, I know, we were separated at birth. I can't believe this. I need to call my dad. Well, I know it's a lot to take in, but I've always wanted a sister and now I finally have beep, one. Beep, 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 beep. Dad, so everything you tell me about being an only child was a lie? How could you? I've always talked about how lonely it is being the only girl in the house. And no, Michelle does not count. Wow, I can't believe this. I guess I better get ready for the game. I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks. Hello everyone, Riley T here and Jessica Smith. And we are here today at our local high school, Freshwater High, with the game against the dolphins and sharks. Jessica here is an alumni shark. Yes, I represent. Okay then. Anyways, I'm dolphins all the way. Go dolphins! Whatever. Anyways, we'll keep you informed on the score. Yes, we sure will. Okay, go Sharks! No, wait! Oh, wow. Nice score by Katie Green. It's a nail biter here, folks. Sharks win in 5-2. Oh, calm down. We'll see how the Sharks make their comeback. They do. OMG everyone, it's Tiger with a score of 7-7. Seven to seven. With 20 seconds on the clock, a Delphin member has it. Melissa Lyman. No, go Sharks. Wait everyone, Katie Green has the ball. It's a close one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it's a score by Katie Green. The Dolphins get the victory. High five. Come on! Okay, well, it's pretty good. Yeah! Hey guys, Katie here. It's my 100th episode. And yes, I could be talking about the Dolphins' very amazing victory against the Sharks today. But I would say the greater accomplishment that deserves to be on my 100th episode is finding my long lost twin cassette. Hey guys! And we have these birthmarks that right? have the three dots. Isn't it cool? Bye! Bye! Yeah? She's staring at you. And what are you talking about? That girl. Right over there. Mm, yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, no, she's just right there. No, no. See, I believe you. We'll just have to check back and see if she's there tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> uh.